Hey guys, this is Sophie from RAS Community and today I want to talk to you about a notification app number two. So today I'm going to talk about the M2D notification app which actually is another app that you can use to get notification on your smartwatch from your phone and even reply. By the way, Swapling, I think I think also give you the option to reply, but I'm not sure. So check it out. The first notification app that I did a video on, and now let's start with the second one. Notification app. It's called M2D, which is just a sec. This is the one. It's called. M2D sender which you put on your phone okay that's the way it looks settings is here yeah now I'm gonna show you on my smartwatch M2D receiver that you put on your smartwatch. You put on the smartwatch M2D receiver, you put on your smartphone M2D sender and you set them up. I mean, let's start here. It's the same on both here and here, okay? Sender key and sender key here need to be the same. I mean, like, let's just say A, B, C, D here, A, B, C, D here. Same with receiver key. You put he 1, 2, 3, 4. You put receiver key he 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, this is your IMEI. I'm going to IMEI. And you put it here in the watch, okay? Uh, there, There is the code. It just lets me... No, 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 no. Let me show you the code and and there it is, the code. Uh, guys, I have to make sure you didn't see. Um, this is the code that you have on your watch and you put it here in the smartphone, okay? Let's go, just a sec. Now there is a, your encryption key, the same is here, your encryption key. Both of them need to be the same. I mean, let's say A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four here, A, B, C, D, and one, two, three, four here. That's it. After that you've done this, it's the same. You make sure that debug is marked here and debug is marked here and here you can just tick or untick whatever you want notification from to get to your smartwatch okay now i'm going to show you with a test how it works by the way this app works both with 3g Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so it's your decision how it, when you want to work since I have a SIM in my watch, so I'm using 3G. I'm not using the Bluetooth or and Wi-Fi when I'm home. Okay, so it's use the Wi-Fi, doesn't matter. Now let's go back. Now I'm going to send a test to show you. See? Oh, what did I do? Okay, let's go back. There it is. Send another test. You see, I know you don't see it, but when there is a notification, it does come. So let's go to the app and I show you. Uh -huh. Okay, just a sec. to the
Я не ребенок. Вот. Just a sec. Okay, the reason uh, I did not negate notification that turn on the... Uh, by the way, it doesn't work with fully with the square display, only with render display. Let's go back. Okay, uh, because as you can see, I did not tick turn on I don't want every notification to turn on the screen because it's, I don't want it to drain my battery you have here the option to decide which app you want to get notification from and decide if you want or not so I don't that's why I left it you can get a notification from everything matchmaster now okay that's it so let's send another to just let's go back to the first screen yeah <sighs> it worked and now it doesn't work okay why not holy crap how about I did not change something when I showed you but it works it works fine i don't know why not it doesn't work now but it works fine really fine i'm using it i mean i don't use watch droid or swap link or even we watch i use this one since any watch i had i don't know i like it and uh, so far i am pleased with it so this is the notification app let's send something from different watch and see how it works Okay, it seems that I need another sim to do so. I have no idea why it's not working properly now, but M2D is one of the greatest notification app. Sadly, um, I haven't heard from the developer for a long time, but I know he, wor he still works on it. Okay, I will have to check this out in just a sec. Okay guys, I don't know what I did, what did I change, so now I'm not getting notification, but it works. As you can see, I am using it, so it works. So there you go, this is the second notification app that can be a better choice over the we watch so it's your decision swap link you have seen you've seen now the m2d and what to do if you have any questions go on the forum there is thread especially for the m2d notification app and ask freely what you need and you'll get the answer that you need um that's it so stay tuned for the third notification app and of course there will be more notification apps but not with bluetooth i'm only showing the three main notification app that you can use with bluetooth 
I actually using the M2D only because it has the, the option of 3G, 4G, any, I mean, over data connection instead of Bluetooth because I, as I said, I don't want to be depend on Bluetooth and keep it on on my both devices. So stay tuned. See you.